Go to the Tools panel in Illustrator and select the Ellipse tool. With the Ellipse tool, you can create a very quick ellipse or any shape, of course. It doesn't have to be ellipse, I'm just using ellipse here. What you can then do is you can fill it with gradients. So you've got some gradients. Normally these, about four are available. However, you can also access other gradients. You can make your own, of course, as well. You can change the stops. Now, if you want to access these gradients, go to the Swatches panel, go to the right side menu, and open the Swatch library down to Gradients, and then you've got a variety of different ones there, Color Combinations. So Color Combinations, then you just click on there, and you can see, now that's added to this document library. This is the document swatches. This is just a library that you can access, but you can't change. You can go and edit the file if you want to, but you basically, these are not editable. So I'm just applying that one. Perfectly reasonable, or maybe that one. Okay, go with one of them. What you can then do is you can go to Object and you can go down here to Repeat and Radial. There's also Grid and Mirror, so Radial. And you can see now what you can do, you can move that around. I'm just going to resize it so you can just see it a bit better. There's eight instances here and you can see here along the control bar, you've got the functionality. You've got the functionality here as well. So if you want to, you can just change it here. Generally, I change it here, but you can go up here and you can change it here. You can also, if you want, go to Object, down to Repeat, and you've got Options. So Options, you've got exactly the same functionality. But you've got it in this Options. I'm not certain why you really need this additional Options when it's along here, but it is. And you can just modify it here. So it's a standard panel. And you can just say, just I want 20 there, or not. Or reverse, so you can reverse the overlap. So you can create some nice designs that way. Right, so you've got that. You can also, if you decide, you know what, I don't want that gradient, I want a different gradient, I can always change it. Now I have to say, inside, and you can edit this, you can edit the repeat quite easily as well. But within that, sometimes it doesn't seem to change a gradient. Not certain why. However, you can just double click. So just double click into the design, and now you can edit it just that one. All these will change as you change this one. That's the only one you're gonna be able to edit. You can just quickly go and double click again out, and go on another one if you want to, but it's exactly the same again. And you can resize it. So you can resize it, rotate it, do a whole load of different things. And also you can go and change the gradient. But as I say, sometimes the responsiveness, I don't know, I think it's the response actually in my machine. It doesn't seem to respond very quickly and therefore it looks like it's not doing it. But you can click on there and change the colors. So what you can do, you can change other things as well if you want. You've got the pie slice there so you can create some whole range of different things, various numbers of changes you can make. And again, once you're happy with your design, you can always turn around and say, you know what, let's just leave. So you're in isolation mode. You can right click, exit isolation mode. So you can do that, or you can just go up here. Generally, I always go to the top. I don't know why, just like, just seems to go up that way and click there, and I've got my design. And now I can change it. However, of course, I can't change the gradient. So if I want to change it, I think, you know what, change the gradient again, I can double click there. I can also go to the gradient tool and modify that. So I can tweak that, take that around. So you can create a variety of different designs just using that approach or selecting a different gradient. Like I say, sometimes it doesn't seem to respond particularly very quickly. And maybe it's just me being impatient. However, got that design again, you can decide, you know what, that's that. Come out of it and you're back again Selection tool, you can increase the size, decrease, etc. Change the number of instances. You can do it also from up here as well. So if you want to, just tweak it there. Also, you can apply multiple of this one. So this object, this is a repeat object. You can see that if you go to the layers panel. You go to the layers panel, it'll say repeat. Well, in this case, you can go object and you can do a variety of different things. You can apply effects to it, of course. Do all those sort of things, but it's applied to the whole and also repeat radial. So you can do exactly the same. So repeat radial, you can generate another one. And you can see you can create a variety of different sizes. In this case, it's probably where sometimes reverse overlap does come in use. You can just vary it to create different designs that way. And also you can gain increase the number or decrease the number, and you can still continue to edit it. So you can double click, double click, and go to that one, and then resize it, change it, tweak it. And you can see you can create a variety of different designs that way. And again, come out of it or exit isolation mode as it says there. 
come out and then you've got your design which you can still continue to modify it like that if you wish to do that so let's just remove that now create another one this time object and down to repeat and grid so repeat and grid and it creates a grid so let's just move that over there you can resize that make it smaller bigger you can also just increase that so you can just say oh you know what i only want two of them not much of a, a grid of course but you can just drag that backwards and forwards you can also go up here oh let's go this time go down there to make it a row so if you decide you know what i want it just a row so just put it, position it like that so you've got a nice row of that design and again you can edit it so you double click again on that and you've got that design there now sometimes when you do that you've got to notice as soon as you resize it you're obviously going to have to rejig the actual thing because you're going to generate more copies again you can move that around you can rotate it of course and much more you can also within that you can also hold down the ultra option key and then duplicate it maybe decide you know what i want a different gradient so different gradient there so you've got another design there and you can change it and tweak it so you don't have to keep it just one object you can create multiple so again hold down the ultra option key and as you see as you do that it will just rejig itself create now sometimes of course it's maybe not exactly what you want but you can select again <laughs> weird you click on that sometimes it just doesn't respond it just gives you the uh, name so that design there well what you can also do is you can gain with this come out of it so grid repeat just come out of that and you can modify the size so i'm just going to resize that modify that but you can go up here the space in here is 12 12 points 12 points so you think you know what i want them all closer so maybe two obviously in this case it doesn't make it such a dramatic difference but two again because of the additional objects actually i'm just going to remove that doesn't demonstrate it particularly well so i'm just going to drag that create a grid object repeat and grid now with that what you can do you can turn around and say oh i want minus 50 so you can overlap them and that's what this does so you can actually just go up here and you can see you can change that that's all that does is just change it up there as well so you can tweak it and you can also go here as well so you can decide you know what i want more or less and again you can change that oh we can change it here and as you do that you can see that and again you can always think oh you know what i want more of them I want more that way unfortunately the control is there just means of course you just have to drag it over there and then resize it that way you can't drag it this way it'd be nice if it was both both sides i'm not certain why they didn't design a, another sort of indicate marker or control point or whatever you want to call it there as well however again you can always double click on that and you can change it and you can see you can tweak it there inside there rotate it now again as soon as you do that of course you're going to disrupt the various spacing and you can of course tweak it again once you come outside so again exit out of there and you've got your design and again you can tweak that you can turn around and say well i don't want it that i want it to be 20 or something else so you've got that and also the final one just go down there and again create another one let's just go with a different yeah just go with that gradient and again you can modify the gradient so let's go to the gradient tool tweak that and i'm just going to rotate it because the next one is mirror so if you go to object go down to repeat and you've got mirror and with that what you can do you can this one is slightly different because when you go approach you can see what happens it actually joins them together joins them together so instead of as before where it would actually just overlap it doesn't overlap in this case it actually joins them though of course it's not really a join but it just looks visually on the screen to join because clearly you can't do that but you can drag that apart and you can see the separate designs there you can drag that that way and so on so you can bounce it around great fun you make all kinds of heart shapes or whatever you want and also of course you can just reshape it redesign it and you can also modify this as well you've got here you've got this these dots all the way down you've got these control points and you can then turn that and as you notice as i do that it's up there as well so you can just change it you can move that you can do exactly the same above so make it 34. and again you can see as it does that it blends the two together and you can change gradient oh, let's just go for a different gradient maybe that one 
So with that, what you can also do, you can edit it, of course. You can go over here, you can double click. Now it will only work on the left side one. Though I have noticed occasionally, suddenly, mysteriously, it also becomes the right side one. But maybe that's just me. But it should be just the left side one that you can work on. And you can resize that and you can see what happens. Now within that, you can see it does overlap. You actually can see the actual, so it doesn't actually make it look the same when you're working on this slightly awkward way of doing it. However, exit isolation mode, and then it does the join. But you can see what the underlying structure there, it's not really doing a join. It's actually got it as a separate path. It just makes it look like it's joining. And again, you can still continue to modify that, join it like that, and again, come out of there with that design. But you can see what happens. You've got this, this weird structure and you've also got this line down the center. Well, you can rotate things, you can gain, change the grain if you want to, decide, go something for that sort of thing. However, of course, what you can also do, as with the other ones, you can always go to object menu and you can go down to repeat. So this time, radial repeat. So you've got radial repeat where you've got those joins. So it does actually make quite a complex shape. And again, you can modify the instances, so you can create that. And also you can double click. And within that, you can see you've got your structure, the mirror one as well. And again, radial repeat there, click on that. And you can see you're now into this one. Now, I think that is the left side one. Yeah, the way it's slightly, thing. you can see mirror repeat, so you're in that. And again, you can change that. So you can tweak it if you want, make it come away from it or go like that. And also you can always add some more. So let's just add another couple. And you can see as you do that, it reflects around that blue line. You can also still modify that. So you can decide, you know what, let's move that backwards and forwards, which of course makes all the others move as well. And you can add some more. So you decide, you know what I want now, because I put it on that other side, you can see what happens. It's, you can't see it. You have to put it on this side. Then it appears slightly odd. It's a slight odd way of working, but you can see what you can do. You can just create multiple objects that are all mirrored there. And it's all mirrored all the way around because of the radial. And you can continue to repeat that. You can create, right? Obviously you can use other things other than just gradients, of course. You can change gradients as well. Again, I say sometimes it will actually let you change gradient. I'm not certain why, but I have noticed it just does, yeah. Yeah, sometimes it does takes a bit of time to change. Like I say, it's me being impatient, I think. Once you've done that, exit isolation mode and you're out of isolation mode. So, and it actually puts you all the way out of isolation mode. So you don't have to go all the way through, which is nice. And again, you still have that design. And of course, you can resize it, modify it, and you can still continue to, let's just redo that. Just drag that up there. And you can then turn around and say, oh, let's just change the radius, change the number of instances, and they create a variety of different designs that way. And of course, you've still got this object, which can still be sort of tweaked, added to in other things. Go to effects, go here to various, sort of free store, transform, etc. So you can turn to like, transform. Just go for transform, number of copies, five. Maybe go for scale, I don't know, 90. 90, something like that. Maybe not 99, but 90. Go for 90. So you can see the design and maybe go for more copies than that, say 10. I mean, but you're talking slow. I'm certain it's gonna be, so you can see the design there. You can have it repeating all the way down as well as the repeats itself. So if you want to change things, of course, what you can do, you can always go to window and appearance. In the appearance panel, you can see the transform there. So you can tweak it, modify it. And again, you can always then tweak the actual object and so on if you can actually see it because it becomes so complicated that end up breaking it down. And there you can see it there as I tweak that, change that. I wonder if it'll change and then come out again. And no, it didn't want to do that. Strange. I think at that point, obviously it's the, uh, <laughs> The mirror and all the repeats have broken down, but you can obviously, the result can be modified. But as soon as you apply the transform, clearly it disrupts that uh, level of repeat, etc. I knew there were some issues there. But uh, anyway, so that is a feature, a really great feature using repeat. And I think that uh, with gradients, 
gain, object, repeat, and radial is obviously the, clearly the first example, which you can create some very interesting designs with gradients, which you can then modify, of course, again, just using the gradient tool by just going, double clicking into there, and then tweaking the gradient by the gradient tool. Maybe go for freeform, et cetera, which I must admit, I always like. It's probably my favorite, create all different designs as well. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.